Hey, good afternoon. My name is Nick. Uh, I'm going to be talking to you about some mobile and modular foundations today. Uh, everyone's used to seeing those dry stack peered stem wall, uh, or excuse me, dry stack piers that you'll just see um, a couple concrete blocks and the house set on top of it. Uh, those are usually included in a mobile dealer's price. Uh, you'll usually get delivery set up, AC skirting steps, and your total price with your septic and your well or hookups will include your foundation. That's usually going to be a number about six to seven thousand dollars represented in that cost. Uh, that's an old way of doing things. That's really not how people do uh, foundations today. Here in Florida, if you can put a mobile in a new mobile in an area, it's probably going to be a mobile home park or your own piece of property far away that you purchase. But a lot of people are not building mobiles these days. I know some of the bigger manufacturers of mobiles are out nine, ten, you know, even twelve months out before you even get a house off the factory line. So um, a lot of mobiles aren't happening these days. Modulars are the way to go. A lot of people are asking me, what can I get a mod for? Well. I really just can't price it for you. I don't know where it's at, where it's going, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you've heard the spiel. But it's true. It's hard to give you a price when I don't know exactly what you want. So I'm going to try and give you some costs today on a foundation for a stem wall foundation, a basic cost breakdown, so you can move on to the next cost in your build if you're choosing to go modular. I think it's the best way to go. So what happens in a, in a, in a modular foundation is there is a a footer dug and depending on how high you need to go above grade is going to be how high your stem wall is usually a three block high stem wall is the standard uh, but i've seen them go as low as two block and i've seen them go as high as five block before you get into your stilt foundation which is going to look a lot like this you can see one block two three four five six seven eight nine block high and then your house is going to sit on top and you also have your poured concrete footer and foundation below whole other video we'll get into what i want to show you is this foundation today okay this is a three block high stem wall with a one foot footer dug you have your hurricane straps here and your eight inch sill plate above that that's where your house sits directly prior to laying your three block high stem wall we're going to go in and we're going to dig out a one foot footer from grade we're gonna go ahead and bring some dirt in, level it, and we're gonna dig out a one foot footer. We're gonna backfill it with rebar and concrete, that way it's in the ground solid. And then we're gonna go ahead and put your stem wall on top of that. And it could be two block, like I said, and it could be as high as five blocks. Um, this, is, this is backfilled with rebar and concrete. And your final product is going to look a lot something like this. And I'll explain how to calculate this. Okay, I want you to notice these exterior walls, and I want you to notice that this interior wall. Let's pull out a floor plan and we'll start doing some calculations. So this is the floor plan we're going to go off of. This is a triple section floor plan. To calculate this floor plan, this is a, a 76 by 28. 76 by 28 and this is a 28 by 15 so how to calculate that is we're going to calculate 76 this is the linear exterior footage 76 down the center and 76 down the side here let's pull out the phone calculator and we'll add these up 76 times three is 228 linear feet along your foundation here now if your floor plan shows that you have a porch and you're looking at a modular floor plan most likely it's going to be included on the frame and it is going to be included in your foundation if it's on the floor plan it's in the floor plan if it's not on the floor plan you're not getting it okay next we're going to calculate the exterior here and the exterior on this side in this case it's 28 feet so we're going to add 28 feet plus 28 feet we're going to get a number of 284 linear linear feet for this box okay including down the center right next we're going to calculate up here 
So we have 26, 26 feet, 15 feet, and 15 feet. So we're going to add that in. 26 plus 15 plus 15. 340 linear feet. Now, be sure to not calculate this again because you've already accounted for that. Now, 340 linear feet. So that right there. Depending on who you choose, depending on where you're at, depending on how far you're going from where the materials are coming from, uh, there's a lot of factors that go into pricing this foundation. A lot of contractors will use a flat fee, a flat rate. Um, I've seen people charge a hundred dollars uh, per linear foot. I've seen people charge as low as sixty-five dollars per linear foot for a foundation. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use sixty-five dollars per linear foot. That's actually uh, the number I use. So we're going to times three hundred and forty linear feet by sixty-five dollars a square foot, and you can see that's going to be twenty-two thousand one hundred dollars. Now that is going to be your total cost for your foundation, including your sill plate, including your hurricane straps, your three block high stem wall, finished, and with your also your little vent ports as well. It's not gonna include any plumbing holes. Your plumber's gonna come on there and cut holes. Don't say, where's my plumbing coming from? That'll be happening later. Uh, you're also gonna have a vapor barrier underneath. Um, and that's pretty much gonna be a completed foundation for a stem wall. You're looking at $22,100 for a stem wall foundation as large as a triple section floor plan. Okay, something smaller, you can figure it out. Uh, and we'll go over some different foundations in other videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. That's why I'm starting this channel. I get a lot of people who ask me questions and I feel like it's gonna be great to have something online that people can refer to uh, to have these questions answered. So please feel free to ask any questions you need to in the comments below. Uh, thanks for sticking with me for a whole seven minutes. I hope it helped you out and uh, we'll make some more in the future. Thanks.